YouTube back, she's a little bit crammed in the back over here. So, I'm actually taking a break now. We gotta move the seat. It's underneath the seat covers. There we go. Is that better? Is that better? Yeah. Means I gotta lower this down. Put it in low. Yeah, we're not quite clearing this. I, I unhooked it here, but it's not quite making it because I'm on an incline, as you can see. Incline. I'm at an angle, so I'm going to try to approach it straight on instead of from an angle. Okay, still at an angle, but better than before, I think. Oh, there. I pushed it just enough to get underneath of it. That's what I needed, I think. Yep, I got it underneath of it, but I gotta push it back just a little bit more, and then we're good. It'll drop down on top of the ball. There we go, that should do it. Thank God for the air suspension and lowering it down like that. Without it, it would be nearly impossible to get this trailer hooked up. That needs to come off, otherwise this won't go up high enough and it'll scrape when I'm driving. Do it on my back. Now this is a breakaway. I'm gonna thread through here, and if, it, if, it, if the trailer breaks away, it, it uh, activates the battery here and energizes the brakes to stop the trailer from running away. So it goes through here, and I'll put it through here, and then into this connector. When it pulls out of here, is when it activates the battery and the trailer brakes. 
last thing to do, well, two more things, lights. Let's do lights. That goes up way up underneath here. It's very hard to see, you gotta know what you're doing. It goes in here. Yeah, in, the, in the dark, it's very hard to see this. Last thing are the chains. So that's what it looks like when it's all done. Good to go. Check what my energy was. 366 average over the last five miles. Let's go five miles now and see what, what changes with this trailer. How's the ride back there? It's not as smooth, right? Yeah, the trailer makes it not a smooth ride. We're gonna to go to Smithfield and it says temporary closure as you can see so we've got to reroute now we're gonna to have to go over to Raleigh which means I have to unhook for sure over there but see that we might run out of electricity all right check out the range here 856 watt hours per mile average you said that projected range well, that was 106 it was saying 50 <laughs> and we've, only, we've got 32 miles to drive so we can drive as fast as we want on this leg, but a lot of the legs, if they're longer, we cannot drive fast at all, not even more than 50 miles an hour at times. But that's not that's not an issue here today, now. Sorry, I had that on instant range, but you can see here's the projected of the average of the last five miles. 83, and we've got 31 miles to go. So we can drive fast if we want. Don't have to worry about running out of electricity. And we're gonna have to unhook here, so I might as well take advantage and go fast. And that 80 miles is a little different than the 191 that's with regular non-trailer driving, as you can see. How are things back there? Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm recording all this. Lock that into the... Uh... Tesla cam. Review it in a minute. Alright, let's review what happened. Launch viewer. Slow computer. It's right here. Everybody just ran the red light. So I went and look, almost smashed into this guy and then somebody else. That's crazy.
So I'm going to put that on Wake Forest Community Information. If you guys don't know, I run Wake Forest Community Information, which is like 54,000 or maybe more members. WFCI.one, WFCI.one, and then Raleigh Community Information, RCI.one. You can check those out. Raleigh's smaller, it's like 35,000. Well, I can't barely see. Where are your sunglasses, sir? Yeah, where are they? Okay, that's way better. Way better. <laughs> Look at the traffic. It's been that way since we got through Wake Forest. If you saw that sign, it's like Wake Jersey. That's what everyone calls it now. Look at that windshield. Can you see it? I need to clean this thing. It is so, it's got a haze. You see that on the inside? So they have tint on the a whole windshield, this massive windshield. And I got videos on that on the channel if you haven't seen it, because it's huge. The whole thing's tinted, so I need to clean it with the water only. Does this look familiar to anyone? This is the Wake Forest Monument, the bridge where 98 crosses Capitol Boulevard. It's where many police officers camp out up on top and catch you with laser or radar, and they try to report that on Wake Forest community information, but we don't let them. You cannot report law enforcement speed operations. You can't do it. Now we're in the city of Raleigh. Do you like that trailer ball? Yeah, that sounds great. Creek, creek. creek, creek. And you put some grease on there. Last time I was here, I broke down. We broke down. It wasn't me, it was we. Right? With eight miles of range left on the odometer. Mm -hmm. And I was only like three and a half miles away from the North Hill supercharger and broke down, but not this time. We got plenty of battery. Let's see, plenty, but I just don't have enough to make it to Fayetteville, which is the next charger. And Denise said, what'd you say? That day we broke down, I was all ready to get coffee and go shopping. But instead, we had to call a tow truck. There was no coffee or shopping. No! <laughs> All right, well, if that Model X wasn't there on the end, I could possibly pull up and not have to disconnect, but I'm gonna have to disconnect now, and I'm gonna have to do it right in this area, right over here. So here we go again, you know the drill. Target. Yeah. You can surprise me or not. I don't need anything. Okay. Have fun. Thanks. Bye. This is a high use supercharger. It's filled up, so we're going to just move. Wait, set limit. We're just going to move that. There we go. Done. Easy. Okay, I'm going to clean my windshield now. Somebody parked in front of my trailer back there, you see that? Oh, it's going to be tough to disconnect now. That was a pain to get this thing back on. This is a pain to disconnect the period. And sorry, I didn't mean to uh, to disconnect her, I meant to reconnect. It was gonna be a pain, and it was. But back to the rest of the trip here, and lots more of this for the rest of uh, the journey down to south of Florida. Look through this windshield. It's cleaned this thing inside and out. It is amazing. It's not even sunny, but I can see how incredibly clear it is right now. I haven't had it this clean in a long, long time. We brought some donations, so we gotta drop those off 
before we get out of town. All right, only about 762 miles left to go with this trailer. Actually, more than that. It's more like 800, truly, when we add it all up. It'll be fun, right? Yeah. Well, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe on our YouTube channel. If you're depending on where you're watching this, we're on YouTube, adigitalnomad.net. That's adigitalnomad.net. Just go to that YouTube channel, subscribe, you get our live videos of the whole trip, five months.